lot of my dogs like <clears throat> a couple weeks to warm up to each other and actually be playing. Yeah. And as long as she's not really doing and anything. Especially since, like, oh yeah, she's not being mean at all. She's just like, what's up? Like, and she, like, her routine is staying the same. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Her routine is the same. Yeah. Okay. So she'll be fine. Okay, but you. And it's not like I'm like feeding her, not feeding her. And yeah. He eats more than her right now. She but seems super happy. Playing with her best friend Duke yesterday, who's like the Rottweiler at oh, the okay. house. He's a Rottweiler mix. Oh. Yeah. This is Stella loves him. Oh. She plays hard to get in general at first. Sit, look at her. Stella. So we're crate training. We're trying. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so the first night. He did so well. He slept in the crate till like. Oh, 4 you did it the first night. Yeah, good job. Slept in the crate till four a.m. Woke you I up. was so, I'm like a deep sleeper. So yeah. Like I was just so still in sleep that like I tried to get him to pee and everything. The next thing I know, I fell asleep on the couch. So I ended up sleeping on the couch with him and the first night out. from like four a.m. to like seven. Did you wake up and he was next to you? Yeah. Oh. So we slept on the couch. Oh, together okay. Last night for half the night. Did he pee at four? I think so. Okay. Yeah. And, and then you just four. fell asleep. And then the second night. I was so tired <coughs> that I let him sleep in the bed. Uh -oh. And oh, in the bed. We had like people over and stuff, so it was like 12 okay. a.m. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna get him to fall asleep. And I had to fall asleep. He held his pee all night in the, the bed. bed. Yeah. Okay. All night. And so then he woke up in the morning at like 5:30 and pottied outside. Cam's been really good about getting him to potty outside. Good. Okay. And then came back in the bed. Then yesterday, I left him alone for the first time in the crate. Didn't cry when I left. Fell right asleep. Slept in the crate. Came home, was so excited, such a good boy. I took him to Kim's parents' house. He was playing, 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 being really good, peeing in the grass. Then wow. I put him in the crate. He literally slept in the crate for like an hour while like we had like 10 people over. Oh like my he God. was just like in the other room. Like so he's not crate. like fighting the crate at no, all. No, whereas like Stella hated yeah. the crate. And so when he cried nice in the crate down. last night, he spit up twice. So I had to get him out twice because uh, he spit, was spitting up in the crate. So then I got nervous. And it was getting so late that he ended up sleeping in the bed after being. But he was in the crate all day yesterday. Okay. So it's but like it's kind because of, like 50, of the sick. 50. Well, it's because he's yeah. sick though. Yeah. Otherwise, he's fine in the actual crate. Yeah. Like. So he was just crying because it's a little <coughs> he has to potty or he has to spit up. Oh. But it's like a violent spit up. Oh my god! Look at him. He goes like this. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh yeah, it's like terrifying. The You're first so time he did scared. that, I was in seizure. You're so scared. Yeah. Parvo. And like he's always like. Oh and my just like, god. Oh my god. Look at him bit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So Wait, his cute. temperament is seriously amazing. But they're yeah, perfect for each other. Oh my god. Hello. Yes, Stella. Hello. Good. Look. Oh my god. Go get it. And she's sharing her toys. Like yes, she's not. Yes. I mean, like if he takes one, she just lets it happen. Yeah. She's confused, but she loves to happen. She's so good. Yeah. He should be in the crate for breakfast. So he Are you eats feeding? In the crate? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because think about it. You've been eating in the playpen, so that Stella doesn't touch his feet. Oh. Well, and then does he have an accident in there? No, he cries. When he needs to go out, he doesn't he wants to go get out. in the he playpen. He needs to get out of the playpen. Okay. Well, if he likes the crate, it's not super essential. Okay. It's more like if they don't like the crate, feedings in their help. Uh, okay. But you do need to have an area where he won't go at, because then as long as he's crying in there to be taken out. Yeah. Then he needs to go potty. Yeah. Then he earns playtime. Because like he's like, but you can't take yeah. him out after after eating and just expect him to then play. He has to go earn on. it. He has to pee and okay. poop every meal. And you're feeding him three times. Yeah, as long as possible. Ah! All right, you asked so me what to do. <laughs> Running outside. <laughs> so even if he doesn't go, at least you directed him next time where to go. Oh my God, his face is like scrunched up against. He's so cute. Are you watching when he's drinking? Or are he's you? He's drinking a lot because like the problem is that like sometimes he spits it up, sometimes he goes pee. Oh, okay. Sometimes both. Okay, so he's not gonna go anymore. He got it all out. Nugget! So now he can be out for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then um, after 20 minutes, direct him out here. If he pees, he can play longer. If he doesn't, it's in the crate. So yeah, so if, he has an accent you have to decrease. When I get a puppy, they usually have like one accent and then none ever again. Because you stick to that routine and not have him be out constantly. He's had 50 Because you've been giving him too much freedom out. Okay, so if you're gonna use the potty pads in the whole pen, he should only be in there for potty time. So let's say it's been like 20 minutes and you don't wanna leave him outside. 
put them in the pen to go potty. Okay. Ideally, you would just put them outside, but if you can't, then do it in there. Getting them on a strict routine so you have zero accidents like you did yesterday, Right. Okay. then introducing freedom. Okay. So if you can get him on that before he turns four months old, you're not gonna have any issues when he goes through his testing phase. Cause remember you're in right. honeymoon phase. And then Frenchies rebel a lot. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Stella didn't rebel, what? So rebel. I only met Stella when she was like <laughs> one and a half maybe. Yeah. But so what do I do if, if he is crying in the crate? Like for instance, like last night he was crying yeah. in the crate. So like me and Cameron are like laying in bed, Stella's sleeping. Like, cause the first night she could, he could hear Stella like walking around. So like, I knew he was like, oh my God, look, you're all away. That's why he all, was crying. It's dark and we're all laying and he's crying. And I'm just like, do I let him cry it out or do? It depends on if, when he, when was the last time he went to the bathroom? Right. So it's hard cause he's a, he's a more chill Frenchie. So I would say you do want to feed into the crying because he's a little sick too, right. trying to tell you. But if he literally had gone potty, everyone's going to bed and yeah. then is crying, cr let him cry it out. Okay. But if there's like, wait, when did he last go? It's been 40 minutes since okay. he went to the bathroom. Maybe he does need to go. Okay. Do feed into it, okay. let him out. If he doesn't go, right back to the crate though. My other question though is when I leave tonight, this will, this will be the first time I'm leaving them both home alone because she was not here yesterday. So should I close th that door with him in it and leave her out here so that she can't go bother him in the crate? Yeah, right? she's always in here, right? In the living yeah. room when you leave? She sleeps up, see where the dent is in the couch? Yeah, yeah, That's I remember. Is. Look at him, he's being good. He's not screaming. You wait. <laughs> but he is kind of like on the lookout. Wait, if you guys aren't watching him, he should be in the crate. Okay. You shouldn't have him be out here and then be like, I'm vacuuming. Wait, you vacuumed pee by the way? <laughs> what? I just realized you said that. Okay. And then be like, wait. This is what I do, okay? I clean it, I spray it, okay. I do it, and then I take the vacuum because the vacuum gets like all of the strands of germs and stuff. Oh. So it's like that extra two okay. dice Yeah, and yeah, okay. And then like, he like spit up over there, so I got like, I okay. this, like dog one yeah. that I get. On the like, couch. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, he started crying a little. Okay, so he is a little chirper. But yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't come out and be like, oh my god, there's pee everywhere. Like if you can't have both eyes on him, he should be in the crate okay. with a little chew thing. He can yeah. always have a little, do you have any like chewing things? Here, I'll give him this. Like loves this. It's perfect size for you. But I do think some dogs just don't care about being in the crate at all, but yeah. I think he does a little bit, so you don't want to feed into every cry. Okay. So because I know he peed, so does that mean he has to go eat? No, but if you ever thought he did in this instance, I would wait for him to stop the crying, then go out. Right, like, yeah. that's what I told Cam yesterday. I was like, I was like, okay, he's crying, but like, wait a sec. Don't do it until he's, yeah. Don't get until he's not. Yeah, crying. yeah. His day should revolve around the crate. The only time he should be out is after he's gone potty. Okay. That's it. And right out of the crate, are you picking him up, taking him out there? Yes. Okay, so he stopped. But I can tell he wants to get out because his paw is like up the whole time. Okay. <laughs> but at this point, because you know there's pee coming, maybe not now, but in the next like 30 minutes, no free, like he shouldn't touch the ground out here. Right. It should be here, maybe there, or the crate. Preferably one of these until he goes. It seems like he's just so stuck on getting in when he's out here. I'm gonna try the pen. And then once he's getting the hang of going faster when he hits the pad, then we can transfer it all outside. Okay, okay. And not in. You're being so good, but you need to go potty. Okay, should we teach you how to sit? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sit. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, genius. Sit. <laughs> yes! Good boy! Okay, you want to do it. He's so perfect. Have you guys worked on that at all? Sit. We might have to put it straight to his nose. Oh. Sit. Don't say it again. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and then give it to him. Stop. Do you ever pet him while he's eating? Mm -hmm. You should do that. Why? 
do it in because it's like in instances he's gonna growl when he his mind is like somewhere else and doesn't want to be like messed with. Oh. Okay. So make okay. him at this age you can make him get over it because if oh. he gets older, you can't or he'll oh, learn he'll to like, like bite. To from yeah. Okay. Actually, let's see if we can get him to do it outside. <laughs> yes. Oh, do we have treats? Get a treat. There's some in that bag. Yeah. He's like, good boy, yes. He's doing the good meerkat, boy, like Southie. Yes. <laughs> good job. You know what to do. Stella. Hi, Grace. Come on, Stella. No one's listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. Good, good boy. boy.